For help. Hi, I'm Sam Dempsey and I'm bringing you today's Dempsey Report from Blakely, North Manchester. Today I'm interviewing Mary Todd who has lived here with her husband George for the past 60 years. 70 years ago, the young Mary Tyler made a film documenting her father John Tyler's efforts towards making Blakely a greener place. His tireless work and the resulting film were what became known as the Green Wave. Can you tell me more about your father, John Tyler? What was he really like? He was a lovely man. He was always busy helping folks get environmentally active. His job meant he saw so much waste, wasted energy, wasted money. It really got to him. He believed it was his duty to do something about it, or at least try. What was life like around here back then in 2010? We were so wasteful with everything. Food, water, Electricity, buying things just to throw them away. In those days, we lived next to each other. This is a picture of when we were younger. When was that photo taken? Oh, uh, 2010. We didn't get on at all well. Always <laughs> scrapping over silly things. Will you stop pointing that thing at my backside, Mary? Sorry, I'm just trying to sort the focus out. We're going to focus on someone else and leave my behind out of it. It's not as if you could miss it, is it? <laughs> hey, you heard that? OK, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, don't forget why we're all here. It's Baby Jensen's christening. What? What are you doing? 21 bulbs in this series, outrageous. Why? You should know why, Mary. It's broad daylight outside. There's no need to be using this much electricity. Dad, will you get down from there if everyone's looking? Good. Then they might see how much damage you're doing to our planet. Before you fall down. Oi, Tyler, if you're going to fall, make sure you land on me and make sure it's on camera. Why should I? So I can put a claim in. What are you doing? I've got to come film the baby. I'll do it. Anyway, it's my nephew, not yours. Yeah, but it's our camera, not yours. Please. Oh, come on. Come on, get to get the kids. Let's have a family picture. Come on. Say cheese! Come on! Hey, you smell one of our family. Should I be? One day. Cheese! Cheese! Listen, Buzz. It's CO2, carbon dioxide, that's causing the greenhouse problem. Keeping the heat in. Dad, Mum wants some money. Tough, I ain't got any. So do you agree with Buzz a lot? To be honest with you, I switched off after the greenhouse bit. Switching off? That's the message I'm trying to get across. Switch off, save energy. Look, Bonnie, you're not a bad bloke, but don't you think all this eco worry malarkey is getting out of hand? All right. Yeah, Bonnie Tyler. Now turn around, bright eyes. Who'd have thought it, eh? Me and you, grandparents. I know, look at him, isn't he beautiful? Wonder what the world's going to be like when he grows up. My dad reckons it won't be a world worth living in if we don't start looking after the planet better. 
Blimey, not another one. Congratulations to you both. I brought him a little something. Oh, thanks, Pat. Oh, he's lovely. Can he hold him? Look at his little outfit. Have you seen our John? Yeah, he's at the pulpit. Pardon? I mean the bath. You're wasting your time with a lot in here. You can't see beyond the end of the noses. Can't help people. I feel like you have to do something. Show them how to do it. Eventually it'll sink in. I wouldn't all be prep if I were you. Dad, come and look at this. What? William's saving electricity. See? Dad, William, I hear you saving electricity, mate. That's right. I'm using the pub electricity to charge up my phone. <laughs> Hey, you think it's funny taking Mickey out, my dad? Oh, wind your neck in, girl. It was only a bit of fun. My dad's just trying to save the world, and all you lot can do is laugh at him. I didn't laugh. Why would I? Neither did I. I did. I thought it was hilarious. Why would I laugh? My dad's just trying to help you. Your dad's a freak. Pack it in, will you? Oh, what's going on? Is this idiot slagging my dad off? No, I'm just saying what everyone else is thinking. He needs to start ramming this environmental stuff down everyone's throat. You just don't get it, do you? Where you going now, Mary? Yeah, go get back in your box. Right, that's enough now. Remember why we're here for the christening. Mm. What's going on over there? That's our Mary having a go about climate change. That's our girl. Brilliant. Well, John, at least you've got more talking about it. That's right, Pete. Hi, hi, Pete. I haven't seen you since we've done them shows. Shows? What shows? Oh, we're fine, thanks very much. <laughs> what have you invited him for? You? Bonnie and Tyler. We had a good day, man. Aye, aye, Bas, Shaz. I should have said Granny and Grandad. He's oh. lovely. Cheers, John. What have you called him? Jensen. I wanted to call him Bloom. You know, like that Orlando bloke? But his mother was having none of it. Do you know, like we have Blakely and Bloom? We could have had Bloomy Blakely. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's the christening, but have you decided to go on a trip next week to the Eco House over in East Manchester? That was boring. What for? It's too short to save energy. Saves you money, you know, Baz. Flipping it, John. Give it a rest with your doom and gloom. It's a party. Well, let me give you one of these stubby things. It's for putting your cigs out. You know, you get fined by the council if you don't use one of them. Thanks, John. Now go inside and enjoy yourself for once. So thank you very much for coming to the Manchester Eco House. Um, I hope you'll find it useful if you decide to follow me now and we'll start the tour. What are you doing, Joe? Come on! So this is an electricity energy monitor and it shows how much energy the house is using at any one time. At the moment it's showing 10 pence. But when I put these kettles on, you'll now see that it's moved up to 57 pence. Every year in the UK, TVs and videos left on standby consume enough electricity to power the Blackpool illuminations continuously for 10 years. Wow. So this is a radiator panel, and this just slots down behind the radiator, and it deflects the heat away from the wall and into the room. And you can see through this thermal imaging photograph here, um, where there's the radiator and no panel, all the, all the heat that's being lost through the wall. And then here where there's a radiator with a panel, how the heat's being kept contained within the room. Really makes a difference. Tell you what, we'll have eight of them. Nine. Nine. Listen, gang, it's not just about us lot here. It's about our kids, their kids, and the future for all of them. Like my mum used to say, if you want something doing right, you've got to do it yourself. We're going green. Come on then.
My father felt he had to do more. Not just for his family, but for the whole community. But he didn't know how. Knitting. Do me crossword. Okay, give us a clue then, Nana. Oh, I'll give you a clue. Postman's sack. <laughs> yeah, postman's sack, that's the clue. How many letters, Nana? Flipping hundreds. <laughs> <laughs> Nana. Seen Kathy the other day. Kathy? Yeah, you know, that girl you went out with at school. Oh, Kathy. God, that takes me back. Last time I saw Kathy, she was pushing a double buggy down Wastin Lane. How many kids has she got now? Do you know, she had about eight or nine of her. Eight or nine? God. Well shut of that one. She left me, you know, for that weirdo down the chippy. I know, I remember you as well, gutted. <laughs> Do anything for a battered sausage, that one. <gasps> She's my mum's in there. Anyway, what's up with John? Oh, the usual. Cheers, you I'll take his brewery. Cheers, Pete. What's up with you now, John? Face is tripping you up. What are we going to do about people like them Todds next door? I'm going to get people like that to change their ways, Pete. You can't force people to do what they don't want to do. You can't make the world a greener place all on your own, John. I feel I have to do something, though, Pete. It's hard to explain, but I feel like it's my duty to help people out change their ways. For God's sake, you sound like one of them Bible bashers. Mother! I'm just a normal bloke, Nana. Try to change things for the better. What's wrong with that? Nothing, love. You're a good man. You just can't do it all on your own. But time's moving on. In my day, lad... We used to be more careful with things. We used to make things last. You need to meet some of my friends. Think about that, Bonnie lad. And don't get so upset, John. Ah, John. Pleased to meet you, Ted. Pleased to meet you. You must be Murray. Come on through, I'll introduce you to everybody. No problem, mate. Ah, uh, Jim, this is John, Pat's son-in-law, and his daughter Mary. Pleased to meet you, Jim. You all right, John? I knew your dad we was evacuated together. Yeah, man, she's wrong, wasn't it? That's right. And I knew your mother as well. Oh, aye. <laughs> <laughs> I bet he did the rumen. <laughs> Come on through, meet the ladies. Everybody, this is John and his daughter Mary. Hiya, John. Nice to meet you. And what do you do? I'm a meter reader. You know what? A meter reader? I don't like meter readers. You know what they do? Come in, read your meter. The next thing, there's a big bill on your step. <laughs> <laughs> When you were younger, you seemed to live a less wasteful way of life. Maybe you can tell me about the past, so it would possibly make things better for the future. We've come to the right place here because we're always talking about the past. We're just talking about knitting, John. If a jumper got too short, we'd knit some more on the bottom of it and make it fit. That's right. And hand-me-downs. I used to get all mine off our Mary, and then mine went to our Queenie, my younger sister. We didn't waste anything in them days. If something didn't fit you, you couldn't wear it anymore. We used to cut it up, make patchwork quilts, 
and peg rugs. We often used to sit in front of the fire making peg rugs, didn't we? I used to go out in the shop every day to get fresh fruit and vegetables. Well, we had to, didn't we? We didn't have things like fridges and freezers in them days. All right, all right. I was just saying, with none of that fancy packaging that we've got nowadays and there was less waste. Recycling's not all that new, though, you know, John. I mean, we used to take glass bottles back to the shop and get a tuppenny refund. <laughs> a newspaper. We never wasted newspaper. We used to take our own to chippy. Our chips was wrapped up in it. If you didn't take your newspaper down, you got no chips. Hey, and Jimmy, what about toilet rolls? We had no toilet rolls in them days. Yeah, we used the newspaper and made sure we didn't get them mixed up. <laughs> 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 May do and mend. That's what we used to do. Not like today, where everything's just thrown away without a second thought. I know, eh, John? Do you think they'll ever be able to recycle our gas? Of course they will. Politicians are doing it all the time. <laughs> I'm only joking, John. <laughs> <laughs> Get that out of my face now. Why? I don't like it. Oh, that's good. Thank you. What are you doing? She's filming us. What does it look like? My dad said your dad's full of himself. No, it's not. my dad's only trying to save the world. There's nothing wrong with that, is there? Hey, girls, you had a good day? Are we ready? Yeah. Look at my hands. Hiya. Welcome to the first meeting of the Green Wave movement. If we all work together and learn how to live a greener, less wasteful way of life, we can show the people how easy it is. Yeah, but what we do ain't gonna make a big difference, is it? Listen, Baz, if we do it together and other communities join us, we can be the ripple that becomes a wave. Yeah, but we've got enough to think about with our families. Yeah, why should we care? We'll be dead and buried by the time the bad stuff kicks in. You might, but we won't. I wasn't talking to you. Well, if you've got all the answers, what do we do? We need to conserve the Earth's resources, cos there's not enough to go around, you know. We need to look at the past to learn about the future. You don't want to leave your grandchildren with nothing, do you? We are the start of something big. We, and I mean we, are the little acorn that grows into a mighty oak tree. We are the roots of a movement that will spread from community to community throughout the world. We can't wait for governments and corporations to lead the way. It's our world, not theirs. If we take the lead, corporations and governments will have to follow because they need our votes and our money. Only we, we can make it happen. What we do now will help shape a brighter future for your kids, our kids, and their grandkids. Well done, John. Oh, thanks, Pete. Didn't know I had it in there. Listen, why don't you come on my radio show? I don't know about that, Pete. I'm knackered. You want to spread the word, don't you? Not so sure, mate. I'll tell you what, just leave it with me. I was 
was a bit of a nuisance with that camera. Always sticking it in people's faces without asking. I made the video in the day on a laptop and posted it on the internet. I did it because I was so proud of my father and what he was doing. That was an extract from the Green Wave video, which has just become the latest internet hit. It was made in North Manchester and has influenced people all over the country and even in communities across the globe. Good morning, John. It is John, isn't it? I'm Sir William Moody from the Hexagen Energy Corp. And I've come to make you an offer you can't refuse. Well, at least I hope you don't refuse it anyway. How would you like to set your family on a world cruise or maybe to Disneyland, and I'm not talking Paris here. Or maybe you'd like to move to a nice place somewhere away from here, a nice big house. Or what about putting your children through private education? I mean, you wouldn't want to deny them that, would you? And would you want to return me soul? No, John. All I want you to do is forget about this green wave nonsense because it's starting to have a negative effect on my business interests. Now, I'm sure you don't want to see a lot of hard-working men lose their jobs, do you, John? If you were to really consider working people, you'd start planning for the future. There'll be thousands of green jobs. The green wave is coming and you can't stop it. All right, John. Just have a think about it, eh? Yeah, you was right. He's a stubborn bugger. Yeah, well, plan B, eh? Dark brown one. I said, get either of them two, but don't get the green one. And she's gone and got the green one. Are you having a laugh? Yeah. Right, wait till I get over. Do you know what I am? Can't nobody hear that, that Belle? Have well, you still got her number? What smell? Oh, well, no could Wow, that's shiny, that. Yeah, How much petrol does that take? Two is in it, JLS. Excuse me, mate, how much one of these worth? Will you go away, please? Only asking a question. Let me in! Alright, <laughs> <laughs> listen up everybody. Belling news. Do we want a 17 inch plasma TV? Yes! Do we want a Range Rover? With TVs in all address. Yeah! And do we want two weeks in Benidorm? All inclusive. Yeah! Right then, this is what we're gonna do. Bond garden. Shed. Water book. Recycle bins. Lads, the shed. That's your job. Pesticide, poison.
Mr. Kilroy. That's me, mate. Mr. Peter Kilroy. Yeah. Look. I'm here to serve your notice, pal. Misuse of your recital bin. Don't think so, mate. Mine's not a reason why you've got it now, pal. Welcome back. You're listening to North Manchester 106.6 FM and it's the Pete Kilroy Show. And joining us today in the studio is John Tyler, the so-called eco-warrior and founder of the Green Wave Movement. And he'll be talking to me about his green way of life. Welcome, John. Hiya, Pete. Do I speak in a way? Straight into the mic, John, yeah. Hello, listeners. OK, let's get straight to it, John. What do you think about people who say one thing and do another? What, you mean people who don't practice what they preach? That's right. I find it has been hypocritical. Well, John, Tyler, you are a hypocrite. What are you on about, Pete? Your organic cabbages are looking very healthy, are they not? Nothing wrong with my vegetables. Could that be because of all the fertilisers you're feeding them? Ladies and gentlemen, listeners, I have in my hand a bottle of Super Boost fertiliser, which I found in your shed. No, it can't be. Not in my shed, Pete. I don't use fertiliser. Well, how did it get there? Somebody must have put it there, Pete. I don't use fertiliser, you should know that. Well, while we're on about it, I have, listeners, in my hand, a letter from Sir William Moody, the CEO of Hexygen Energy Corporation, offering you a £30,000 bribe to destroy the Green Wave movement. No, Pete, he came to our house, he offered money and everything. I told him, sling it up, mate. Well, listeners, that's all from me, Pete Kilroy's show, and the hypocrite, John Tyler. No, no, Pete, don't cut me off. Listeners, Pete, you need to believe in me. Job done, boss. He was a broken man after that. He couldn't understand what he'd done wrong. It was very nearly the beginning of the end of everything. My dad, Barry, wasn't a bad man. He just let himself get fooled by the money and the shiny things. And then one day he changed. You're blighted again, you. I've told you before. Nobody likes a nasty drunk. And don't be taking it out on these kids. Anyway, where have you got your money from? My money. The RBB. The Royal Bank of Baz. And you move. You proper stink. Who are? Anyway, where's our takeout, you selfish pig?
battle. Who's seen my name, Bunny? You know John Tyler. Have you seen John Tyler? Contraband electronics with intent to supply. Is there anyone who knows where you are today? Why are you not wearing your smog mask? Put this on. to talk. This is my great grandson, and it is for him that we did this. He's beautiful. Now, can you tell me, how did your parents influence you whilst you were growing up? They made us conscious about the environment, it made us understand that we, it was up to us to make it effective and protected. If my father, John Tyler, was alive today, he would be a happy man to see the world is greener and a better place to live in. Thank you, Mary, and thank you, George. John Tyler showed us a better way of life and a greener way of living. 
He showed us how, as individuals, we could all make a difference. He pioneered green small businesses, green jobs and the green economy. John Tyler stood up to the corporations and showed them how to look back in order to move forward. Because of him, we all grow our own vegetables and make do and mend. He showed our ancestors how to wave goodbye to a gloomy future. John Tyler died in 2038. His legacy, the Green Wave Movement, lives on and continues to inspire a greener way of life in thousands of communities across the globe. Thank you, John. I'm Sam Dempsey. This has been a Green Vision TV production. Thank you for watching. Good night. Time to flip the switch, shout for the rooftops. It's time to make the change, the world's getting too hot. Green waves about to blow and let communities know from a little lake on the mighty old tree grows. It's time to flip the switch, shout for the rooftops. It's time to make the change, the world's getting too hot. The green waves about to blow and let communities know from a little lake on the mighty old tree grows. No, you think it's twisted the way we get it twisted. We're disregarding issues that we're ignoring as misfits. But picture this, the future looks hazy, people leaving the homes because the temperature's crazy. The road effects that will start from the hands of man who drill up all the oil while they're pillaging the motherland. Causing effects that we don't understand. Messing with the mission scholars, all the future fees of all the seven sands. Please let me your raise, I'll take your back, my friend. Don't drag your mate to work, just ride your bike in tens. We need to unite, the children with the future bright. Support the green wave movement, it's time to make amends. So please don't turn your back and let's send them in your way. It's time to make the change, future's already here. We don't want our children going in the life of fear. Turn off your light switch, see how much you save this year. It's time to flip the switch, shout out for the rooftops. It's time to make the change, the world's getting too hot Green waves about to blow and let communities know From a little lake on the mighty old tree grows It's time to flip the switch, shout out for the rooftops It's time to make the change, the world's getting too hot The green waves about to blow and let communities know From a little lake on the mighty old tree grows And I think it's disgraceful How as a nation we close our eyes to the issues relating to us being wasteful But still I'm faithful that by the time I'm 30 We'll be living in an environment that's stable But that I know the happen if we choose to join hands And flesh together that we'll overturn the young plan and hit back, head the one hit the fat cat It'll sit back and exploit for riches If we don't, we might end up with stability friendly Natural learners, you know we're turning to our again That's the beauty, your values and your brain as a weapon If we work together, the play you feel we get level the set We can hit back, head the one hit the fat cat It'll sit back and exploit for riches If we don't, we might end up with stability friendly Natural learners, you know we're turning to our again it's time to flip the switch, shout out for the rooftops It's time to make the change, the world's getting too hot Green waves about to blow and let communities know From a little lake on the mighty old tree grows It's time to flip the switch, shout out for the rooftops It's time to make the change, the world's getting too hot The green waves about to blow and let communities know From a little lake on the mighty old tree grows